what is happening guys? It's Nick Che. I'm coming back at y'all with another video. Today we're talking about how to be successful in high school and how to set yourself up for success and to eventually get into these top colleges. I'm giving you my five top secret tips. I haven't shared them with anyone, but this is what was helped me be successful in high school um, and help me, you know, eventually get into the Ivy League. All right, so first things first is number one, get involved. What I mean by that is find some kind of extracurricular that you're very passionate about and find a way to not only be the best at it, but get to a top ranking position. If you wanna be a president, a vice president, a social chair of whatever, do whatever it takes to get to that position. So obviously it's gonna be a lot of work, but at the end of the day, it's going to pay off. I was a president of my photography club for two years, my junior and senior year. And through that club, I was able to have a lot of opportunities to do things that I wanted to and teach a lot of students about different aspects of photography. We went on field trips and did a lot of different stuff to get students more involved. So if you have a passion and you're very good at it, either a find a club that already has it or b make your own club i know a lot of my friends started their own clubs because there wasn't an outlet for them that they were passionate about so they wrote up a proposal presented it to the school and you know they agreed to make it a club and so even that is going to look great on your college application on your resume that you started your own club but at the end of the day remember not to do it for any of that publicity any of that press do it because you have a genuine interest in it you have a genuine passion and you really want to not only help people with that club but provide an outlet for other like-minded individuals to gather and collaborate and just talk with each other whether it be you know pre-med or business or law or you want to go help at the animal shelter whatever it is come up with an idea if you and your friends want to start a club you know that's a great way to invest your time throughout high school Tip number two, make good habits early on. Whether it's study habits or habits for your personal health and well-being, get a regular routine going early on so that you have it in your system and it's in place for all four years of high school, especially if you're starting out in, as a freshman. Because honestly, once you get to senior year, your habits are locked in place. You're not gonna wanna change as much. So if you start early on when you're a freshman and you get on really good study habits, you find ways to efficiently use your time, then you're gonna be so much more successful because you have a regular routine. If you're in the habit of going to the gym and you miss out on a day, you feel kind of out of whack, you know? So you wanna get into that habit, whether it be, you know, I'm gonna do my homework every day after I get home from school, not watch any television or Netflix or go on any social media until I get all of my homework done. That's a really great habit to start early on. Or let's say you wanna really start eating healthy, like get rid of all your junk food and stick to that habit and you know go to the gym because yes your academics are important and yes your extracurriculars are important but so is your health and your mental health as well so making sure that you know you're not only staying healthy but being active being fit whether it's through sports or anything else i think what i missed out on high school was you know i, I wasn't in any sports but i definitely wish that I got more involved, you know, doing things more actively just because it helps you function better. Your brain starts responding faster. It's great for your um, health and longevity. Um, you know, there's that statistic that says in order for a habit to stay locked in, you have to do it 21 days consecutively. So whether it be that studying habit or, you know, you want to start reading more or whatever it is, just make sure you have a consistent habit, a schedule and a routine. All right, tip number three, time management. I can't emphasize how important this is, especially in high school when you have a lot of different commitments going on. You wanna learn how to not only manage your time efficiently, but use it to the best of your ability. I know a lot of kids get stressed out thinking, oh my gosh, I have so much shit to do. But honestly, if you learn how to prioritize and maximize what's most important, then you can be so much more efficient. So the fall semester of high school, I would always have marching rehearsal. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, we would have rehearsal from four to seven or four to six on Thursdays. And then Fridays, we'd have a football game. So I would have to stay after rehearsal for a little bit, get home around eight o'clock, shower, eat, which obviously isn't a ton of time before I have to go to bed. But you know, if you have 30 minutes in between a class or during your lunch periods, use that time efficiently by getting a few pages of homework done or your reading done because that starts to add up. I think a big mindset change that I've needed to work on and have started to work on is that homework can be done in increments. You don't have to have it all done in one setting. You can take 10 to 15 minutes to get one or two pages done and that starts to add up and you're gonna be way more efficient. You're not going to have to stress about finishing 20 or 30 pages in two or three hours. 
because you've already done half that work throughout the school day or whenever you have any free time. Time management is also highly important when you get to college. Um, you have way more extracurriculars going on than in high school. There's no one to keep you accountable for what you're doing with your time, so it's all you know, based on your own work ethic and your own determination to get shit done, you know? That's the mentality that I like to have and it's worked for me, I hope it works for you. Because honestly, at the end of the day, time management leads to work ethic. And for me, work ethic is super important. Making sure that you're always grinding no matter what, even if the results aren't paying off right now, eventually they will, um, you know, work hard, play hard. That's always been my motto throughout high school. The way you set yourself up through not only your extracurriculars, but your academics, your social life, and developing yourself as a person is very, very important. And it's a key tool before you get to college that high schoolers should have. Does that make sense? I hope I'm not rambling. These are just kind of like my thoughts and my opinions. All right, tip number four is find a reliable group of friends. In high school, your friends and the people you hang out with and surround yourself with are probably the most important aspects. As important as academics and extracurriculars are, those aren't the things that shape you to be the person you want to become. It's your friends and how they help you grow and mature as a person. The friends I had throughout high school were always genuine. They helped me when I was down in my lows. They supported me no matter what. And for me, that means the world to have a support system of friends that you know you can rely on. If you're going through hard times, you can talk to them. And you know, what's most important for me in a friend is their ability to be completely brutally honest with whatever you're telling them. So, you know, a friend isn't a true friend if they're not doing their best to look out for you. So I had my boys, I had, you know, my girls, and that was really important for me to have friends that kept me in line, kept me in check. And at the end of the day, you know, your boys are your boys, your girls are your girls, you hang out with them, you have a good time, and you know that, you know, these are your lifelong friends. And even now, I still text and call these guys because, you know, college is stressful, I need, I need people I can rely on. And even if it's been weeks or months since I haven't talked to a lot of them, I know that I can pick up the phone, they'll answer, and it'll be like nothing's ever changed. They've been with you through the ups and downs, they know your story better than anyone ever will and they're always gonna be there to support you. If they're a true friend, no matter what you're going through, help you really just grow and cultivate yourself as a person. You don't wanna get involved with the wrong crowd throughout high school. You don't wanna um, have friends that aren't looking out for your best interests because those people aren't gonna be conducive to you being successful. And those are the friends that you know you have to realize that, okay, they're not helping me grow. I need to leave and drop them and, and move on. And that's not a bad thing. It's never a bad thing to cut off friendships or relationships with people that are negatively affecting your success and your growth. I mean, yes, you could have been friends for, you know, three or four years, but you get to the point where you realize, damn, they're kind of a shitty friend. Like, they're not looking out for my best interest. And it's perfectly okay to realize, okay, I need to mature and move on and cut ties with this person. Tip number five, and kind of my secret formula, this was something I was very good at. And not that I didn't tell people, it's just not a lot of people realize what I was doing throughout high school, but it's taking advantage of every opportunity and finding any new opportunity. I think a lot of people in high school are kind of stuck with this mentality of being complacent. Complacent as in you're okay with the status quo, you're okay with just everything that is handed to you at school, but you know, for me that wasn't enough, that wasn't okay. I needed to challenge myself, I needed to always be growing, I needed to always be pushing myself. And so I was finding new opportunities, I was finding ways for me to grow both in and outside of school, whether it be through the opportunities I had through my extracurriculars, becoming president and finding ways to involve myself and use the resources that our school had to take us on field trips. or. You know, through my photography, I literally made my own photography business, made hundreds of dollars through that. And that was, you know, the best time of my life, just shooting photos for my friends and making money off of it. Or my scholarship with National Geographic, I've talked about this in a few of my videos. I mean, I found this amazing scholarship opportunity to go to Ecuador and the Galapagos Islands. Literally online, all I had to do was like fill out the scholarship application and it was by far the best trip of my life. And all my friends were asking me like, how did this happen? Like, where did you get this opportunity? And it's because I took the time to do my research and found ways for me to really just grow and not limit myself to the confines of a high school building. You know what I mean? Like high school is so much more than just 
the academics or your teachers or your friends it's your teenage years literally your 16 17 18 those are prime time for you to grow learn more about yourself and find your passions and it's really just doing a lot of research i mean yeah as simple as it sounds a quick google search on things that you're passionate about whether it be internship opportunities or scholarships or travel opportunities the world is so big and there are so many people out there that want to help students you know what i mean and all it takes are other students who are willing to put in the work and find those opportunities and apply and you know you'll receive the fruits of your labor high school for me was a great time i made a lot of my lifelong friends i was very successful and I just enjoyed it. I had a good time. Senior year was where I made some of my best memories throughout high school. I met way more friends than I thought I would. But at the same time, I know high school can be stressful, especially when it comes to like college application. You, if you're at the point where you're kind of thinking like, damn, high school kind of sucks. Like I'm ready to move on. Senioritis, like we've all been there. We've all had those same issues and mentalities, but you have to persevere. You have to push through it because things will get better. You'll get into a great college. Like. That's not even what I'm talking about in this video. It's just how to be successful in high school, how to set yourself up for success, and taking advantage of all the opportunities that a school has to offer. Whether you're in a public school, whether you're in a private school, it really doesn't matter because it's what you put into it, you'll get out of it. Success is, you know, a combination of a lot of variables, but hard work, work ethic, determination, motivation, those are just a few that come to my mind when I think of that term. The biggest thing with success is that it's always going to come with some kind of haters, people who are looking to bring you down because you're rising to the top. Don't let that get to your head. That was a big problem for me because at the end of the day, you're out there chasing your dreams, working hard, grinding your ass off, and that's going to pay off while the people who are hating are literally sitting at home writing these like stupid comments or whatever, being dumb and being lazy. So yeah, I hope this helps. Hope this provides some kind of insight. And so yeah, that kind of about wraps up all my thoughts on this specific topic. I kind of wanted to make this video because I know a lot of my audience are high school students who are going through this process. So I mean, if you're a freshman and sophomore, you still have plenty of time. If you're a junior and senior, don't worry, you still have time to implement these habits and tips and tricks to still become successful. All right, that's it for this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Leave any video suggestions you have down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.